going on, guys? About to check out this video from Ryan Upchurch, right? It's another tour video, which I've been enjoying the heck out of these, right? Little documentaries, but behind the scenes, and it's like interviews and whatnot. Fire. It's giving the fans a real inside perspective, right? So you might hear the noise from my air conditioner. <laughs> this will give you a heads up. It's too hot. Too hot. I had to just turn it on, fam. Let's get straight into it. Make sure you check out the original video as well as go and check out Ryan Upchurch in general. Right? He's putting out a lot of dope content, man, and he's being honest and real. And that's more than I can say for a lot of people. So let's check it out, man. Let's check it out. Let's see what he has to say. A lot of work into these shows, you know. Right, they build all these things from scratch. It's crazy. So it's dope as hell. Right? But it just shows that they put in a lot of work, man. Doing a good show. Hold on. Yeah, why is it freezing when I'm trying to pause it? During the filming of the episode, we were notified that a member of the live of Live Nation Dallas team made changes to the already signed the agreement when it comes to all this merchandise sales and percentage splits. What? We're already going to agree. It's on. on top of them, demanding their crew would be hands-on in the physical sales in exchange of everybody's merch. I don't like that. I don't like that. They also stated there would be a limit to the amount of merch to support an act until it could sell. Excuse me? So that's like pretty much saying there's a limit to the money that you can make. A lot of people don't know. That's where a lot of artists make their money, not just in general, but as well as on tour, is merchandise. That's why you see a lot of artists selling their own merch, like literally hopping off stage, going to where the table is, signing and selling merch themselves, right? So that's crazy. They're doing WWE contracts. One of the changes to the altered agreement is Live Nation would now require 20% of all sales from each artist out of pocket. In Live Nation, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that the one that Jay-Z was connected to? Where he did the deal with, uh, with Rock Nation? It was Rock Nation and Live something did some kind of joint venture years ago. I don't know if that's the same color. I feel like that is. In no way could we allow this to happen. Facts. This goes against everything we stand for. Big facts. I what? <laughs> Couldn't allow a large mainstream company to dictate our business and put our supporting acts in such a tough position with limiting sales. So everybody on tour came together and decided to stand strong and agree to not sell any merch that night, especially up trip. What? I understand though, because it's like, you're going to try to rob us blind, so might as well just not even allow you the option, right? I think they should just sell the name stuff, but if the venue's not allowing it unless they get a percentage, that's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs> That's really messed up. Live Nation knew this would cause an uproar between fans and our music industry peers alike. So after several hours of intense negotiations and making preparations to pull all of our merch, was made from higher up in the company. We were given the green light to sell our own merch and we were received 
100% of all the merch sales. That's what I'm talking about. They knew it would make noise. Take a stand. As independent artists, merchandise plays a huge role in funding and enabling acts to travel on the road and still turn a profit. Facts. Without it, most acts, especially opening acts, could not survive. We were prepared to not make any money if that meant our supporting artists could not do the same. Big facts. That's what's up. That's the real issue right there. That's what it's called taking a stand. Wow. Real as hell, son. Upshur just never fails to just keep proving how real he is on a day-to-day basis. Wow. Not that many uh, mainstream artists, if any, would have did that same stuff. Man, they, I ain't going to lie to you, man. They, they try to take a little slice of the pie, and I ain't going to lie, that just ain't going to fly. That's just not how we ride, baby. We here, we an independent camp. And, you know, we fuel our own engine, dog, you know, from church and be loose all the way down to, you know, the openers. Like, Facts. there's not a possibility that we can conform to the industry standards when we ain't a part of that side of the industry. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, <laughs> what, what Adam Cowan and Tom McDonald would have did. They probably would have took a cut of everybody else's merch, too. And that's what that's what Adam Calhoun and Tom McDonald probably would they would have took a cut as well. You know, there was some stuff that happened today. I ain't gonna lie. There was a couple of things that happened with the merch. There was a you know a little bit of a complication, so to speak. People were trying to uh, not establish dominance, but just try and take a piece of the pie. And you know, and, and maybe a more uh, nasty, converse, communicative situation. We could have worked it out with them, but it was very clear that they was kind of just trying to put their foot down and, and be loose wasn't finna have it, bro. And I'm loyal to be loose. Like I'm loyal to church and I'm loyal to church. Like I'm loyal to be loose. They both the big homies. And so, you know, we ride with them and if the notion yeah, that's that, real, that's real as hell. Right we ain't going to conform then we ain't going to conform. And there's no if, ands or buts, no questions or hesitation about it. We almost didn't sell merch tonight. You know what I mean? As crazy as that sounds, we almost didn't do it to stand our ground. Because we are on the independent trail, bro. This is not what y'all think it is. This is us. We are we are the branches, the fuel, the flame, and the fire. You know what I mean? So somebody can't try and come in and try to try to take away some of the gasoline. This is how we move. This is how we operate. You know what I'm saying? This is the motion in our ocean. So it's cool. It's all love. I love seeing that, fam. Artists actually taking a stand and being what they say they stand for. I love it. You know, and nothing against the venue, nothing against the people who are trying to do it. They're trying to do it their way, and that's how they could conduct business. But that's just not how we rock. So, you know, hey, better luck next time, baby, because this is the real independent game right here. <laughs> Y'all can try it, but it ain't flying. You feel me? Let's go. Hey, and what have you? We stood our ground, and we selling our merch tonight. <laughs> we love everybody. We're trying to bring love to different cities. We're trying to show people love. We're trying to embrace everybody's culture. We're trying to bring people from all different backgrounds together, man, because that's what makes America great. But these people that are over here, these big conglomerates and stuff, they just, they greedy, man. They greedy. There's enough to go around, man. But we got to band together and say, you know what? Nah, we ain't doing that. And that's what all the artists did. We said, we won't sell no merchandise. We'll go over there in the parking lot and sell that. We ain't gonna do that. You ain't gonna take no more for from us. And that's what I was about to say. Don't not sell it. Sell it outside. <laughs> Go and get y'all some tables. Prop them joints up, nigga. Sell it outside, nigga. Absolutely not. They will not take a bonus cut for what? They're not doing nothing. Like yeah, no, y'all earn that. Enough is enough. And because we did that, they said, you know what? We won't take it from you. Go ahead, go on down there, sell your stuff. Scramble like chickens and run down through there again another night in a row and hurry to get your stuff set up. Well, you know what? I've been walking up mountains my whole life. <laughs> I can scramble like a chicken. I can scramble like a fox. Boy, you ain't got no idea. I'm going to get that money. I'm going to thank the Lord. And we're going to keep doing our thing. Ain't nothing going to stop us. That's what these people don't realize. We're on a path. We're on a path that's been set for us by God. Ain't right. nobody going to stop us. And we ain't going to cave. We ain't right. going to fold. Come on. Somebody's got to stand up and grow some nuts. This old boy right here mm-hmm. ain't bagging down from shit. Come on. Yo, bunch of gangsters, bro. Bunch of gangsters.
All right, this is fire. I'm loving this. Oh. Take a stand, bro. All right, so Dallas, Texas. Uh, okay. Pull up, get loaded in. Right. Everything was real nice, beautiful facility. And uh, they come to get me and say, so what you think about... Uh, what you think about this and split and somebody standing and like running your merch table for you. And uh, I can't, we was all in agreements, but the bottom line is, buddy, it is cool to be around people that actually do big what facts. they say. You got a lot of people out here that talk mm-hmm. about your big G shit, baby, but, you know, so to see people like just this, man, simplify. B, we all were in agreement that we should do it this way. And even if it hurts us and hurts everybody, we're going to stand on an independent standpoint. If we're going to be out here, baby, you got to let me sell my, my brand, my merchandise, my stuff. I think that was the biggest point. But anyway, not right. to kick a dead dog, baby. Shout out to B. Lou. Shout out to all the guys about standing on what we said. And basically. Nah, that's real, fam. That's real. And the fact that they all had the integrity. Right, to actually stand up and go, nah, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. You're not going to do that. Especially the bigger artists. I'm telling you, that shows a lot. That shows a whole lot. Being an independent artist, by the, this is already expensive to come out here and tour. Super expensive. So, every little bit counts. But Dallas, Texas, by the facility is beautiful. Uh, uh, on top of that, by the stage, sound check went off flawless. Uh, we ready to go, but yeah. I love this song. That beat is hard as hell. Hard as hell. Hey. Fire. Signing the posters and whatnot, man. This is so dope. Independent. No mainstream. None of these nasties out here trying to dictate anything. This is real. This is what artists need to look up to. For a circle. You know the performance had to be crazy. You know the performance had to be crazy as hell, bro. God, Brian Nag is about to come out. This is dope. I love this. For the people that's not able to go to these shows, fam, you're able to watch and not get the full enjoyment from being there, but get some kind of enjoyment. So it's extremely thoughtful for Upchurch to put these videos out. See what Brian Nags do out here. Yeah, the backpack on? Hey. So dope, fam. This is so dope. I'm loving every aspect of it. I love this song in this beat. This is a hard ass beat. Super dope. Hey, somebody proposed? Oh. Nah, that's fire. They making dreams come true out here in these streets. What? Proposed? That's pretty awesome. Wow. You perform the record they just dropped? They just dropped a new record. Go and check that out. Just drop the new music videos. Fire. Go and check that out. Snap. Oh, snap. OG in the building. OG coming out, closing the show. Closing the show. So 
is so fire. This is so dope, bro. Every aspect of this. All right. It's like a like a house or room, so it look like sand from the subs, like what you where people just come through and they like guest on the show. This is hard. That's a hard set. You just walk through the door. You see that track list. See that track list real quick. Concert for crickets, Rolling Stone. Okay, okay, okay. Got I go the shrimp animal on Creek Road. If I was a truck. All right, all right. Next to Red. Ooh. Trouble, Lone Star, James Dean. I know they had some fun in that night. A lot of dope ass records. Okay, JJ, pull up. Hey. Get rid of it. I know the music had to sound fire, bro. I just know it had to sound fire. Yeah, I too. It's so dope, the structure, man. People don't realize how dope the structure is, right? Because you have collapsed all these dope artists. So when they open up the show, that's the warm up. And then they come back out and perform with them. That's fire, bro. Super dope, man. I'm loving this, bro. I'm telling you, this had to be an amazing show in person. For sure. For sure. <laughs> going in with the drums. Everybody going in. The DJ, the drummer, the guitarist, fam. Everybody going in, even the people that built the set. Yo, man. Yeah. It's super dope. I'm telling you, they could like literally film a music video out of all the combination of performances. <laughs> so dope. Energy, man. The energy looks crazy. Wow. Energy got to be amazing. Was that what a camera was shot on? I think they do make cameras, right? Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. Super high quality, I'll tell you that much. That was dope, man. I loved every aspect of that. Every aspect of that. But tell me what you think down in the comment section. Hit the like button, share the video, all that good stuff, man. That was super dope. Tell me what you think.